absolute guys i'm in gray not black i'm a changed man so anyway i am a little bit gutted i've got to get in the pond at some time soon and my little tiny shower that i bought from koi water barn um yeah that's turned into a shiro so yeah the belly's gone but absolutely gutted the bottom drain is come loose so um yes i'm gonna have to get my wetsuit on i'm not going in there i'm gonna clean this window now i'm not getting in there today i'll get in there tomorrow but some of these fish guys are looking superb look at the body on those bad boys we are slowly getting there guys i'm not pulling in fact i might have to pull that up in a minute and show you the uh chip in this side that i got from sakazumi guys i'm not pulling the piss it's looking superb i'm going to do it i'm going to fold it up now in a minute just in a floating basket because i want to check the size of it but i'm super excited look at some of these guys like even fish that i could do look at that what is that all about even fish that i couldn't get body on are getting body now unbelievable so chef i've got to be careful with that brain now because these little ones are yeah but anyway let me clean the window and I'm gonna go down to the garage, clean the garage a little bit, and then I'm gonna take a picture. Row on, because I've actually done the video already, but I haven't, and it's uploaded, but I haven't put it public yet because I haven't got a thumbnail to really ooze the quality of it. So I'm going to go down there for about half an hour, put things away, put things clean, take a picture of that, instantly drop that onto, this is Sunday today, instantly drop that down, and this is the start of the next kind of video. Guys, I, let's be polite, Ryan and myself are going back to Japan on the 17th of April until the 2nd, 2nd of May. Absolutely buzzing, I can't believe it. But this time, it's gonna be a show of maximum magnificence because we're gonna be up in Niigata, Nagaoka, up the hills there for about four days. Then we've got koi shows to go to, and I'm buzzing about that for the content. And then we're going down south. We've got a full day in Narita. We've got Sakai. We've got almost that. We've got everywhere. We're going everywhere, okay? So to that end of things, I'm going to ask a favor to someone who might be able to help me. So I've got a van. And I want to drive down to go to Heathrow. I'm putting it out there. Does anyone live within kind of a reasonably close distance to Heathrow? Because I would love to park my van outside your house and get a taxi into Heathrow. And this person, I will... make worthwhile i will actually bring you an incredible present back from japan now i'm not going to say what it is but it's going to be something extremely special that can only be sourced from japan for the koi hobby okay it might not be one thing it might be a goodie bag of really cool stuff so my plan is to drive down park kind of close to heathrow because trying to get my van into those car parks are going to be a nightmare so I was thinking if I, there's someone that lives close, I could park there and then I could get a taxi from there into Heathrow. Come back from Japan, get the taxi back to these guys, give them their doggy bag, give them their doggy bag, have a cup of tea, say thank you very much, and come back to Wales. I don't think that's too much to ask for that much content that I'm gonna give you guys. So anyway, if there is someone there, DM me. Not on here, find me on Facebook. I'm the guy in a little balaclava with a plastic gun when I was in 1985. Um, like a robot from 1985. Right, so let's clean this and I'm on. Oh, I went for a lovely dog walk today at the Breckens. What a dog walk, brilliant. Bit wet, bit slushy, but
but then a Sunday dinner in the Penny Kai Inn on the way back hit the spot. Nothing like the Swede from the Penny Kai Inn. And if anyone's coming to Wales and they're around the Brecon area, the Penny Kai Inn. It is the best and it's beautiful as well, like really old and gorgeous. Let's clean this window. And today I'm not going to do it, but this video is going to run on to tomorrow and I will be in the pond tomorrow. Might even set up a GoPro. Right guys, I don't know if I'm being obnoxious here, but I've put some PTFE tape on these leaks from the last video. I've sealed that again, so there's no leak. I don't know how there's a leak there. I put loads of, uh, you know, stuff on that. But I've done something which I said I was gonna do, and I've looked at it and I've thought to myself, is it too much in someone's face? Is it a bit too much? Baron. Bearing in mind, I've got a lot of room up there for my rosettes as well. Is that obnoxious? Baby champion and young champion from the Great British, Great British Koi Show? Now, if they were from the National Koi Show, probably would be obnoxious. I mean, the colours go. I'll leave them there for a little bit anyway. <laughs> Never know, might be lucky enough to snap one up again this year. I just took out the young champion. It is now 64 cm. So it's going to be small for the category, but what it lacks in length, trust me, it looks like Linford Christie's lunchbox. It's got one hell of a girth on it. Can I say this on this channel? Still got some grey on guys. Day after. So Joe is on his way down. He's stuck in traffic a little bit because the weather's a bit rubbish, but it's only about 20 minutes away. So what I'm doing now is filling up the Awaz drum. Obviously looking for leaks. Well, one down there has stopped leaking anyway. So remember, yes, I put PTFE tape on them. So P Still got a leak. Wait there. Okay, great. I just stopped that one. It was just one there. Is it going to leak? 
we're good. So yes, remember I had some problems with this because these I've got threaded parts. I only put these rubber things on there. Keith Holmes told me that and it makes perfect sense. I haven't, I've never had no problems like that. So I'd rather do that than actually put the unions on. I don't know if it's laziness or just I'm stuck in that habit now. But anyway, that's all I'm gonna do. Uh, this is filling up slowly, waiting for this to come to height. And I think it is, yes. So we've eliminated this leak as well. Um, there's no pressure in this at all. So what I've done is I've just got some of the um, contact adhesive and I just smeared a big bit around there and, and tried to get it right into the gap. So it's, it's actually sealed from the outside, not the inside, because I couldn't get my hand down, but it is where it is and it's fine. Um, just put this on really quick. Don't know why, but um, yeah. Way too much air going through there, guys. So 75% of that air will be going into the Awaz drum. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is um, do the splitter by here, which is going to be, well, I bought this ages ago. Um, so that is gonna be pretty cool. I could make a stainless steel one, but you know, I've got this one. So I'm gonna utilize this. All I've got to do is, um, is try to work out how to get this really nice mounted on the wall. Probably get some, actually, I think it's the same diameter as that. Yes, it is. So I get some rubber pipe that will go from there. So I'll probably end up mounting it here or underneath. Then the rubber pipe will go up to there. And then these two will split off one to the bottom drain, one to the drum. Actually, I need three because I have got an air bar on this. So yeah so i do need three so maybe so maybe what i might do is actually maybe run the two of them have one of the, the 95 to run this and then the 75 maybe split i don't know yet or i might just make a stainless steel one up or i might buy one of these that's got three outlets which makes way more sense so yeah that's cool um so I'm quite excited how to get this all hooked up. So like I said, Joe's coming down now to show me how to hook up everything to set this drum to the perfect height, which we're all going to learn, and to, yeah, make it run correctly. I think Joe's going to be quite happy with what I've done. It runs, doesn't it? You know, we all know it runs. So, yeah, pretty good. So let's just... Wait for Joe to come down. I better make him a cup of tea and his Awaz cup, would not I? Oh, so guys, Joe has just popped in. I've made him go in to make a cup of tea, bless him. But anyway, we've been, I've been watching him setting up all of this cable work. Now, it does look a bit like Spaghetti Junction at the moment, but there's a reason for that. So all of these cables are being looped in for data reasons, basically. So we've still got to plug in the, 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 the pumps. We've still, still got to plug in the actual drum. But what happens is this little unit here, which I'll talk a bit more about in depth later on, controls all of the data. It, it, like it, it, it um, attaches to your Wi-Fi and everything. There's a lot of really good bits and bobs. That I'm gonna talk about that later on when I get to know a little bit more about it. And we've got all of these clips. So these clips look a little bit unsightly at the moment, but these are all gonna be really tidied up. Now, the reason these look quite substantial and well-built and industrial is because, well, they actually are meant to be because these normally would be sitting at the bottom of a pond or a lake or something like that. That's, that's the whole reason why these are like this. These will last for a long time at, at considerable depth in different, you know, kind of weather conditions and temperatures, but, Obviously for this setup, because I want to use all of this Awaz stuff because it's bomb proof, that is a consideration uh, uh, that I would, I'm happy to, you know, live with. But they're all going to be tucked away, zip tied nice and tidy. And I kind of like that steampunk look anyway, you know. So let's, hang on, he's coming. He's coming, I can hear him. So um, let's leave him get on with this and we'll, uh, we'll talk a bit more in depth later on. Hey guys, so Joe went a few hours ago playing with some stuff. So interesting. So I'm not, I'm going to spin you around and show you stuff now all running fine all that kind of stuff, but I'm not going to go through how the whole thing runs quite yet because 
I want to try to get my head around the app first, if you know what I mean. So I don't want to, you know, train the trainer, teach the trainer. You know what I mean? So let me get my head around it. I'll show you what I've done. It's all running, absolutely gorgeous. I'm just tapping in now the um, trickle in, deciding where things are going, looking quite good. Need to get some more black hose pipe. Of course it's going to be black. Um, let me show you. <coughs> so I've just put all the, the so these are maced, mainly all like, like you know, obviously I've got like the two um, extension leads there because that there is not plumbed in yet. So I was right. Uh, I need to put another two on top. So I will put two more on top there. I got plenty. I've got them all up there. Look. So what I'll do is I'll mount two more on top of that and then I'll put the junction-y box thing, whatever needs to be up there. I don't quite know. If anybody's an electrician and they live close to me and they want to come down, have a look at my pond, have a cup of tea and do some electrics for me. Hit me up. Apart from that, guys, it's running beautifully. Um, yeah, so these, these pumps are absolutely fantastic, right? So we've got one pump working on this and like obviously it's all now on my computer. So like Wi-Fi, it's amazing. So I can control this pond anywhere in the world. It's incredible. This thing is like, I don't know, kind of like probably the most scientific pond I've ever owned. Well, it definitely is. But yeah, so basically 1% of that pump, 1% of that pump's um, power actually runs this vacuum shower. That's, that's not, that's 50% of the power there now. But 1% still will get up to a head height of 1.2 meters and still run. So you can, there's so much stuff you can do with these pumps. I can program these pumps to run flat out in the day, like 50% in the day. And then in the evening after the last feed, let's say, say six o'clock, I can power this right down to 1% just to keep the shower wet and the biological part of it work. And then kick it back in at six o'clock the next day. Now that is what you call power saving technology like that's insane isn't it like so good um and obviously this controller here you know i can see everything this i can control the cycles i can see how much is like um what temperature is i can see how many how many cleans it's done i can clean it again i can make it so so good joe has actually blown my mind and this is the magic bit of kit so this here is control, you know, connects to the Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, from here, I am a little bit too far away from my Wi-Fi box up there. We do get Wi-Fi and it does work, but there's a little lag. So what I'm going to do is I've got a 40 foot or 20, 40 foot cable for that. So I might move that box because it's totally waterproof here. So this box is totally, totally waterproof. So I might put that box, I might run it and put the box like up the top somewhere, like really close to the Wi-Fi signal. Just have that time today, but it is really coming on now. That is fantastic. So what I'm working on now, guys, is I'm just working on this. Now, I have this on my very old pond, and this tap is super, super precise. It's really, really good. So that will go straight into the small blue, straight into that and then that goes in there but i'm going to get another uni seal i think to tap in this side so the pipe goes in there so also oh i'm going to put some media in there now to start sinking it uh, also joe has showed me exactly how to set these floats up we've deactivated this one this is not needed at the moment this is a sort of like a cutoff switch um for the drum if you were running different like water pumps but now all my water pumps are running through um, intelligently. The drum and the pumps, everything run as a collective unit. So cool. So that's been deactivated. This has been positioned perfectly. The position, the perfect height of the pond has been achieved. It is absolutely mustard. All of the hard work so far is paying off. But what I am gonna do is Put some media in here and maybe turn off the air to the pond and just put it on there just to start getting the media to actually sink. Just 50 litres. Okay, so this is um, K-Watt, uh, 
Yeah, K1, Mike. K1 Media. Uh, I think this is the new one. They're all singing or dancing one, but yeah, I haven't got Helix in this. But what we're gonna do, this is just what I've got. So yeah, you can see it's just totally floating. So what I'm gonna do now is get the ear hooked up onto that and start that tumbling. Yes, I could PP it. I am gonna PP the whole system and ver uh, on the whole system, no, not Vercon, Chloramin C, the whole system before anything goes in there. And then we'll start introducing fish, but that's gonna be after Japan, guys. Here we are then, guys, just, um, just hooked up one of them. That actually fits really well into that, just goes straight in there. So hooked up that, I'll just leave that bubbling away now. Um, we haven't got a trickle in on this. So every time it does clean, it is going to, you know, expel a certain amount of water because the high pressure pump is down here and they are really good high pressure pumps. So it draws from the pond, not from the tap. So um, we'll see how much, how much I lose by tomorrow morning. You know, we'll see. It's, it's going to be fine till tomorrow. There's no fish waste or anything. The system's just running. I just want to run it. I'm not going to keep it heated at the moment, obviously. Um, but 50 kilos of that in. What I do plan on doing... Um, when this is tumbling properly, I'll probably end up scooping this up out. Scooping the same amount out of my actual main pond replacing this new stuff with the stuff in the pond and then well half of it i'll probably have half new media and half so 50 liters from the pond and replace 50 liters with this new stuff um i think that's what i'll probably do so 50 liters of super mature k1 will get this system kicked off proper and then obviously i'm going to when i do fill up the water in this i'm going to siphon it from the main pond the amount of water, I'm not quite sure exactly how much water. I'm sure this end, this uh, worked out 750 gallons. So a little bit less than I thought, but that's maximized the space, the size I could have it anyway. So it is what it is. Um, so yeah, that's the, and, and obviously filling 750 gallons from that 500 gallon pond is not going to do much the trickling on that will fill up that pond pretty quick anyway or what i could do because i've got quite a like a fast trickle in so i might just hook up the trickle in to siphon straight into this pond and run the system that's quite a good idea actually let me think about it. So we're here. So obviously I'm still going to do this. Now I know for a fact I've got brackets for this. I just need to look in these boxes. So not too worried about that at the moment. Um, what I am thinking about is the air pipes and also the trickle in. So I was going to get a uni seal, but I think what I'll do is I'll drill. I'm going to use this black pipe. I'm going to drill a perfect hole there. So this pipe goes in so I can actually monitor the trickle in as well. Now, yes, we've got the overflow there as well, but it's that's where I'm putting the trickle in. Yes, I could put it in. Oh, I could put it into this. I fill that up, but I could put that in there. In fact, that's a good idea. I could use that to drill to go in that. We'll see. But another thing I'm thinking about is obviously the air. Now I've got three sources of air that I need to provide for. We've got this. We've got the bottom drain and we've got the air curtain. Theoretically, if I've got a 95 pump, I am gonna get an Awaz one, but if I've got a 95 pump, really, let's just say it's a 100 litre an hour pump, really I would like to deliver about 80% of the air to this, um, this um, filter uh, and maybe 10% in each of those. So you get that really fine bubble. That would be ideal. So in that case, I am going through all of my manifold bits and bobs again. Oh, and I got a new one of those to go in the trickle in, uh, the, the trickle out. So bear with me, let's see what I've got and I'll make some sort of thing up. So, got this, we got some dog poo. So um, I'm thinking this could probably be your office. <laughs> Let me show you. 
Right, okay, so excuse the mess. Okay, so Wolf's Toys. So this is my like little kind of area where I do this. So this unit needs to go and that thing needs to go. Obviously, you know who those belong to. Um, so I've got all of this here, which is all empty. Um, but with these things gone here, you have got an amazing view of the koi pond. It's actually quite nice. Do you know what I mean? Especially in the summer, these doors open. And then if we go here, so I exposed all the brick. So even this could be an office. So when all of this is put tidy, it's actually really nice. Do you know what I mean? So these are kind of like models that I haven't built yet. So they need to go up in the attic. This is just all my modeling stuff that needs to go in the attic. So all of that needs to go in the attic. This bike needs to go down the garage. Um, I've got a spare Mac there if you want one. I've got a spare Mac upstairs as well. And uh, yeah, some Christmas stuff that needs to go up the attic. Wolf doesn't need that anymore. So most of this stuff like literally needs to go. And look, all my models. But I don't really want these now. So I give them to Wolf every now and again just to like play with and destroy because I want to get rid of this cabinet. But yeah, I put candles in there and it's like, it's really nice, but it's quite a nice room. What I have got is I was going to put some stairs and I'm still thinking about doing it. In the corner of the uh, front room, I was going to put some stairs that go up. So you go up there into the front room because above me now is the kitchen. Yeah, so this is your office, Anna, whenever you want it. I can paint it whatever colour you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So something like that should do. Okay, so <coughs> I was a few bits short. I've taken these three from the main pond. <coughs> Excuse me, that's not being used at the moment because they're for the 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 bottom drains and the air lot in the um air curtain but next time i go into the shop in swansea i'll just replace these bits i'll make a note where i want and have those but i've got loads of those of spare bits but uh yeah it wasn't um these i forgot to get these taps yeah okay <laughs> so probably we'll end up putting that somewhere somewhere here or possibly yeah maybe down there out the way actually so I know I've got two clips for this as well somewhere. So then we'll have one pipe going straight into the air pump. And then we'll be able to split these through to the three different locations. So that's another piece of the puzzle done. I shall leave that by there. What a thing of beauty. To be, but be honest, guys, these things are really cheap to make. Yeah, you could make them in plastic, but, you know, these, yeah any kind of like plumbing place if you've got one in your hometown. These are stainless steel as well, like 316 stainless steel, which is, yeah, it's as good as you're gonna get really, isn't it? So that's that. We've also got the dosing pump to go on here. So I'm gonna put a dosing pump. Um, we are getting close. What I do need to do with this though, see, see these little like fiber washes in there? I've got a load of these to replace because it seems to be a lot of them are failing on the drum. Let's see, yeah, and that's what's like leaking on the floor. I suppose there's just one of those things that, yeah, they go after a while. These two went as well, and the, the handles the other side have gone as well. So, yeah, so I do need to change those little fibre washers. Hey-ho, you'd think they'd last a little longer, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So, actually... That media has been in there for a few days. It's not been bubbling, but let's see. Yeah, still flowing. Okay, don't worry about that. But anyway.
Yeah, boy, black on black. So anyway, I'm quite excited because I have my Japanese yen. Hopefully a thousand pounds will last me for um, food and stuff like that. I don't plan on spending much money this trip. However, I still do have a few things to do. Uh, I've got to sort out my, um, my camera equipment. I've got to finalize my clothes. I've got my last wash on and I do have to get into the koi pond right now. I've made myself a cup of tea. So obviously the grow on is pretty much finished now. Now I do need to go through the Awaz online system to show you how everything works, but I feel I will rush that right now because I am in Japan mode. I've got a long journey in front of me. I'm leaving at two o'clock in the morning to get down to a friend's Kevin's house and he's actually taking me to the airport. Look at that dartboard. Guys, can I just say something? I don't normally want to come across kind of um, too confident, but I'm amazing at darts. Like, I don't know, I'm like Rain Man. I go like, okay, double top, boom. It goes in like bull, boom. Like it goes in, I'm just like that. What the fuck? But my mum used to be Welsh champion dart player, so maybe that's something to do with it. But like literally, I put that dartboard there and I'm like, my own prophecy is amazing. But it's quite fun when you're playing darts and you're actually doing what you're doing. And yeah, it's cool. But anyway, guys, to that end of things, I'm going to finalise everything now. I'll come back to you in a minute. I'm going to get in. I've got... I know the pond's at 24 degrees, right? But I know I've got a wetsuit and I've got like a weight belt because trying to get that down in the pond without a weight belt on is pretty much impossible. You just get sucked to the surface again. So I'm going to go down. And another massive thing, guys. So see the um, stickers? I've got a bunch of stickers somewhere and I can't find them. So I need to rip this house apart because I'm not going to Japan without stickers because we're going down south. Oh, yes. So I don't know if I've told everyone. We've got about a week up north. We've got some koi shows. I think it's the Waka Koi, not quite sure. And we are going down south. We are going to Momotero, Sakai, Sakai Ko. We're going to Omosako. We're going to go to Hiroshima. I'm definitely going to go to Hiroshima to have a little look in and have a little bit of a, a, a tour. No one's going to stop me doing that. So we're definitely going to go and see where the atom bomb actually detonated, which I am, I, I military, I cannot not do that. So that has to be done. So let's go and see where, yeah. I'm so excited. But let me go on with the rest of the day because like at the moment it's six o'clock in the afternoon. I've just been out with Wolf walking the dog for a long time and now I just need to get these final things done. I'll get back to you, I'm so chuffed. Oh, passport. Well, well the good news is guys, I found my wetsuit. Yes, it's 24 degrees, but I'm just gonna put my shorty on, some boots and I've got, that is the essential bit. And obviously, let's have a cup of tea. So I'm gonna do this. And I'm going to clean the window when I'm in there as well. And then I'm going to feed up the food, uh, fill up the food. I can't wait to get back onto this as well when I get back. And then we'll go from there. Cool. Not particularly what I want to be doing today, but... <laughs> this should keep me down for a start. So I used to use this. Well, I used to go spearfishing in Pembrokeshire a while ago now. And, uh, yeah. The things we do for Koi. I'm going to give the, um, I've got some scotch bright over there as well. I'm going to give the window a really good clean inside. So, um, yeah, I'll put this on by the pond and you can just watch me be a tit. Fish and like what's going on? Tell you what's going on, pal. I'm in the drink. Mate, the floor of the pond is so slippery.
And these stink of cat's piss. So as always, I'm struggling to find the hole. Obviously it fits into like an inch and a half kind of insert. I actually really need a pee, but I don't want to give any ammonia spike. Right, let's give this window a clean. So guys, this is a new pump service um, I'm thinking about <laughs> doing. So if you want to hire me to clean your ponds, pond windows, it's extra if you want it nude. Obviously, it'd be like a, a disappointing reveal, wouldn't it? Cleaning all the green algae off and, uh, yeah, exposing my chibi nissi. I don't mind how big it is. It smells like a big one. And it's big enough to fill a pram. Nice in you. <laughs> but you, I didn't even need a wetsuit, I'll be honest with you.
Oh, there we are then, guys. That is something that I've been meaning to do for the last few weeks. And now it's done. Don't worry, I am going to have a shower. I'm just sorting myself out in this bloody freezing garage. There we are then, guys. That is another chore done. Have I got a red eye? I've got, I've got pink eye from the pond. Right, so the next thing I've got to do is fill up the auto feeder. So let's go and do that now. That's gonna cost me another couple of quid, isn't it? And guess what? I found my stickers. And you know what? I found some really vintage stickers. Koi Soldier, Tafaguchi. Or Tanaguchi, that is. But I'm just gonna take those. Oh, there we are then, guys. So there wasn't much left in there. So, uh, yeah, let's fill this up. Right, that's another job done. Oh, that window's not looked uh, as clean as that for a while. Yeah, I haven't cleaned the outside, but the inside's done. Obviously, the water's a little bit uh, messy. 
but um, yeah yeah that's good so um, drains back in drains working as you can see the bubbles so I leave that on when I'm away in Japan now um, auto feeder is to the brim um, I need to do some sort of irrigation for this because this is dying because it's not getting enough water on it which is a bit of a pain in the bun that's fine that seems to get enough but that's actually in like a, a container so that needs to get done um put that back in a minute another thing i'm going to do guys only because i talked about it on gaz's koi lives the other day was i've got a load of clay so um i might just i'm going to be away for two weeks Pink eye from Isanke. I'm gonna be away for two weeks, so I'm gonna put some of this product in. I may as well, let's do it now, see what it's like. It clears out pretty quick, but let's have a go. Right, there we are then, guys. I was gonna measure this out by the millimeter, but, but milliliter, but I don't need to, because this packet here contains enough to treat 500, uh, 50,000 liters. So I've got 22 and a half thousand litres in this pond, nearly 25,000 litres. So I'm going to get the new one and I'm going to pretty much use, yeah, just half of this one. I'll just roughly pour out half of it and whack it in. Maybe we'll give it a full dose, wouldn't we? And then when I come back from Japan, I might give it another one and then I might do that. And well, it, it helps the water. It coagulates all like the stuff in the water. The drum will catch it. It'll revitalise anything. The drums go like hell since I've been in there and cleaning everything. Uh, yeah, cool. So let's get some clay. I'm not going to pre-mix the clay. It's going to go straight into the moving bed. Right, here we go then, guys. So what I'm going to do is I've just got like, yeah, like is that a litre or is it a pint mug? A, a litre. I think it's a litre. Anyway, I've got three of these. So I'm going to do one now, one when I come back and one two weeks after that. I've got the clay, it's just sitting on the bloody shelf, so I'm just going to tip it straight into the moving bed there, and then we'll just go to the other side and watch it all, um, yeah, come out. Right, let's have a look at this. The fish are going to be a bit spooked, but it's not going to do any harm when I go to Japan, is it? So let's see when this uh, starts kicking out. There it is. You just see it coming out now. Can you see it? Can you see it yet? Is that a current goes through there? There it is. And the other side, obviously. So the bio chamber's mixing that up as good as I could with uh, warm water. Let's see how cloudy it gets. So, guys, see that Takano Sankey down there? It's got a split tail. I'm actually offloading that. So, if anybody's interested, for that Takano, I think it's about 55 cm, so it's got a split tail and a split dorsal, but it is a beautiful fish. Look at it, the body on it is gorgeous. The pattern, everything is great about that fish apart from the split tail, which is really, really disappointing to be honest. But um, it happened when it was um, when it was quite young, and yeah, it's just not not healed itself. But again. It's the one behind the show there, if you can see it. It is a great fish. Look at the Takano gin in it. Lovely pattern. Lovely place to sue me just to split the tail. Um, if you can deal with that, it could be yours. Just DM me. Um, it's a really nice fish. It really is a nice fish. I did try to repair the tail, but it didn't actually nip together properly. So, yeah, no good for my pond, unfortunately, even though it's an amazing fish. Is the clay in guys it doesn't really cloud it that much yes obviously it's not crystal clear but well i think they're kind of like hey what's going on interesting times for them well guys here we are i am ready to go i've got my hand luggage which has got my camera and my drone in it and my passport and my yen and my wallet and my ear pods and it will have my puffer jacket in there and I've got my hat with my brand new covert stitching 
I have my big suitcase, which is covering my small suitcase. Ah, to that end of thing, guys. So if anybody is, so I'm not gonna buy loads of nets this time and pan nets and sock nets and all that kind of stuff, uh, or flags or books or anything like that. But I have got 26 kilos of space on the way home. If anybody wants anything from Japan, um, message me in the DMs. Um, I'll let you know if I can get them and then we can go from there. But I've got 26 kilos of stuff if anybody wants anything. I think I'm probably gonna be taking loads of like awards back for Ryan anyway, but I will try my best to help everyone I can because we will be going to Koi Wholesales and we will be going to Narita's Koi Shop. So to that end of things, I might be bringing some stuff home for myself. I really want one of the carbon nets. That's not gonna go in hand luggage, but I'm gonna see what I can do. So anyway, guys, this is gonna be the last one now. The next video that I'm gonna put out is going to be day one in Japan, and that's probably gonna be about three days time. So I'm gonna start filming for that pretty much as soon as I leave the door. Um, it'll be my journey over again. I'll try to help everyone with feeling comfortable trying to travel themselves. Now, I've had quite a few people in my last J Japan trip that wants to accompany me over in October. So please, if you do, there's, I have, I maybe can take one or two more people over, but like, if you want to come over in October and join Ryan at Sushi and myself and possibly Kevin, if he can take some time off from Sid Cup, um, yeah, then hit me up. Um, but it's a very exclusive amount of people to go. And um, yeah, I'll show you a good time. We'll go and play some Japanese darts, I'll take you to all the best restaurants, rub shoulders with the breeders, karaoke with me. And uh, yeah, you've got chance to pick the dream fish that you've always wanted to source from Japan. Yeah, and you have to get to Japan to be able to experience what I've experienced. I think this is my fourth or fifth trip now in about 18 months. So I'm super lucky. But um, yeah, to that end of things, yeah, so what are we on now? It's the 16th, the 17th. So it's probably the 18th will be the first movie. And I'll do one a day again. Um, again, I'm there to help. If you see any of the fish that you like on the videos, hit me up and they might be for sale, they might not be for sale, I don't know, but just use me as your avatar and live through me and enjoy yourself and I know I'm going to, but I'm not looking forward to this drive down to the airport and then the flight. I hope I'm not sitting next to anyone that I don't wanna be sitting next to. I never sit next to Lucy Lou. That's all I'm saying.